the V Trades technical analysis course is now live. Learn to read the chart the right way to prevent costly mistakes. Click the link below to start training now. What's up traders? This is V Trades and today I will be doing a technical analysis breakdown for SoFi Technologies with the ticker symbol SOFI. This was a viewer's request and thank you for your donation. I will first go over what I see in the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. So again, this was a donation request by a very loyal subscriber. So thank you very much once again. And just a reminder that um, it normally costs $10 to get a personalized video done. But if you join my membership, you can get up to four videos requested for only $15 a month. So it's, it's a very good deal, uh, very cheap. And I just wanted to you know, let you guys know that if you are one of the donators who frequently donate, if you become a membership on my Top Notch Charters membership, you can get up to four requests. Every Thursday, I do a request for members in a month. So, I mean, that's already like a $40 value right there. So I'm charging only $15 a month uh, for the membership. It's a very good deal nonetheless. So let's take a look at SoFact Technologies on the daily chart. Uh, this donator also requested that I go over my personal opinion about SoFi. And I'll go over you know a couple things that I you know I know about SoFi. I don't know a lot about it. I don't really look into fundamentals that much. I'm the technical guy, uh, but we can go over the fundamentals. Well, my opinion on the stock. Uh, but first, let's go over the technicals. So technically, you know, it's still dropping. It still looks kind of weak. Uh, but the ma the macro pattern is a range pound range bound pattern. You can see that we're finding consistent resistance at this $8 level. So very important to look at the past price levels because it's definitely coming back into play. Every time SoFi came up to this $8 level, it got rejected. And every time it's coming back down to this, you know, roughly low $5 level, high $4 level, it's finding support and pushing up higher. Uh, so basically we had this prior downtrend in play. You can go and see that right now. So this looks like the downtrend that was previously in play. Maybe a little bit sharper, something like this. So we had this downtrend in play by SoFi and then prices broke outside of the channel, made two legs down to new low. So that's pretty much textbook price action. So this is one very large leg down. Prices corrected up. It made a second leg down because, you know, usually a breaks up channels. We get two attempts at the previous extreme or we get two pushes down or two pushes up if it's an uptrend. So we got two pushes down. You, that's when you saw the big bounce occur at the lower side of the range. So that was definitely where traders were. Uh, buying, uh, but you can see that price got rejected at the EMA. So they probably, you know, just took a little swing trade right here. Uh, they bought at the 494 level, got out maybe at 557. With let's see what kind of profit we're talking about. Maybe a 10% gain, 12% gain. So that was definitely a good place on the chart that looked like it was due for a bounce because we had a downtrend break, two legs down to new low at the bottom side of the range, which is acting as a strong support. Uh, now we got a rejection from the EMA and we're coming back down to the support side of the channel. So that's what I don't like. I mean, we could just see a higher low, something like this, and then rock it up higher. Uh, but it, we also could just do the opposite, which is continue to uh, break down lower. So basically this is a transition area basically where um, we can go either go up or down. Uh, so it's not really sure. I'm not really sure where we're going to go right now. Uh, if it was just a few days ago, I could have said, yeah, we're going to get a nice little bounce, maybe even break the EMA. But unfortunately, it looks like price got rejected from the EMA and now he's coming back down to the support. Uh, and what I mean by that is not a good sign is because look at it in the past right over here. Just back here in early December, prices were at this level and it just shot right through and it continued to push up higher. So that's what I wanted to see instead of getting rejected by the EMA. And we're getting rejected by the EMA uh, because I think the uh, aggressive sellers want to continue to push down the price until this large measure move is reached or until they just give up. So this is completely all one leg down. This is the second leg down right here. And the market is going to only try two times to reach it until it just gives up. So it's trying to reach this uh, 398 level, low $4 level uh, before potentially reversing. So this was all one attempt to reach it right over here. Uh, it had two legs inside of it. And this is currently the second attempt to reach it. So you can see it's, it's, it's a little bit lower. It's at the 347 level. Uh, but it's still the second attempt nonetheless. And this is all one leg right here. A second leg down would take prices to the 370 level. So it looks like the, right, right around this high $3 level, uh, low $4, $4 level is what prices are trying to reach. Um, it doesn't have to if this support level is very strong. Uh, but again, that's why I'm saying it's a transition area because we just got rejected from the EMA. We're coming back down to the strong support. 
Um, it's not a good sign, but it doesn't mean we're gonna just break it. So we'll have to wait and see if it breaks it and we continue trading down lower or we're gonna you know, hold it and continue trading up to the top side of the range. So I'm not, I'm not sure what's gonna occur. Uh, you know, it's looking more like it's gonna break it because we got rejected from the EMA. Uh, but again, it could also, uh, you know, rock it up higher. So I'm not sure what's gonna occur here. These are the potential possibilities, but there's a good chance, I'd say maybe probably a better chance of breaking this level than bouncing again at this low for, uh, high for all level. So that's all I see on the uh, daily chart for so far in the technicals. Uh, the fundamentals look good. You know, I'm not really sure what's going on behind the scenes, but it looks like the earnings report uh, continuously gets beat. And also the revenue is increasing year over year. The revenue for this quarter was 460 million. And if we go back to the first quarter of last year, the revenue was three, 321 million. So that's pretty much a 40% 40 gain, I would say, 44% gain year over year in revenue uh, per quarter. Uh, the first quarter. So I mean fundamentally it seems like it's good You can see that you know the good earnings aren't really doing much when it's being reported You know because technicals will override that the traders are just looking at the technicals on this chart uh, They're just trading the technicals now. really looking at the earnings report. They don't really care uh, once the sentiment changes or you could say like once the um, trend changes uh, Then that's when you know, we're gonna see a reversal in the trend until then, you know, you have to this is pretty much what's going on in the chart. This is what traders are trading. They're trading the sideways market. They don't really care about the earnings report, uh, you know, until they see like the trend change uh, versus, you know, by the institutions or whoever moves the market, like the banks, then that's when they'll probably start buying. But as right now, they're looking for shorts. Uh, they're looking for these measurable targets to be reached. So that's why, you know, uh, this stock continues to get battered down uh, because, you know, year over year, Revenue continuously, you know, increases by a good amount, you know, and it looks like they're getting more and more profitable every quarter. So, I mean, fundamentally, this could be a mismatched stock from the technicals, which could be a very good opportunity. You know, these are times when stocks become an opportunity when the fundamentals and the technicals don't align. Uh, so, we'll have to wait and see. You know, I'm not recommending anything, uh, but that's that's just my thoughts. It looks like you know, their earnings and revenue are increasing. Uh, looks like they're getting more profitable every year or every quarter uh, and it could be a mismatch stock meaning the fundamentals aren't, aren't aligning with the tech the fundamentals the technicals are not are not aligning with the fundamentals so that could be an opportunity so we'll have to wait and see best right now you know this looks like a very good you know potential area for a long-term position uh, we'll have to wait and see or we could go a little bit lower and that might even be even better but we'll see if, if it even gets there so technically you know, we're at the lower side of the range. We, we saw the bounce, but it got rejected from the EMA, which is not a good sign. Now it's coming back down. We'll see if it holds again or not, because then if it doesn't, this mesh move targets will come into play. So that's basically everything I have for a SoFi on the daily chart. Now let's take a look at the weekly chart. So here's the weekly chart for SoFi. I'm gonna go ahead and mark the all-time highs. All-time highs was right around the 28, 23 level, but I'll mark it where the candle closed at or um, open at the 2589 level. So right around this 25, 20, $28 level was the all-time highs. I'll go ahead and put it at the all-time highs. So we'll leave the horizontal line all-time highs at the 28. All-time lows are currently 427. So let's just say if the trend reverses, we could take back all of this drop right here because you know the market likes to do symmetry. So we could, you know, again, this is all, all just, you know, um, an analysis. I'm not saying it's gonna occur. But you know, if the trend reverses, we could you know take back all this drop, and you're already looking at a you know four or five x gain. So we'll see if that occurs. Could be a good opportunity. Either way, you know the trend looks like it's weakening. Uh, this was the huge spike down. Prices went inside of a spike in channel, so this was a spike down. A channel formed shortly after because the spike is too aggressive; it's unsustainable. Uh, so this looks like the spike in channel that prices were respecting. And we got a break of the channel. Usually we get two attempts at a new low. So this was the first attempt down. Price is pulled back and is currently in the second attempt. So basically, it looks like the downtrend is coming to an end fairly shortly because it's not even downtrending really anymore. Before it was dropping pretty harshly. Now we're kind of seeing like a rounding bottom occur. And usually that will lead to a potential reversal. Um, just don't know the timing for that either. So we'll have to wait and see. But as right now, Looks like we could see a little bit low, more lower prices. I say right around this four dollar level is a very strong support. You know, it's a temporary bottom. It could be a permanent bottom. Uh, so you, you know, 
we might only see like a dollar drop more in this stock. So it could be a great area. We'll have to wait and see. But as right now, you know, prices are, you know, going right in, right straight through the EMA versus before, you know, staying below it. So again, the, tr the trend is changing. Uh, we'll have to wait to see we we'll have to wait and see for a confirmed reversal because right now we're just going sideways. But again, it looks like we could see a little bit more lower prices and then, you know, potentially a permanent bottom to see a potential reversal occur. So that's all I have for SoFi Technologies on the daily and weekly chart. This is V Trades and thank you for your time.